welcome to week four. This week's focus for the strength training is going to be isometric and eccentric loading. So we are going to do a series of exercises. This is gonna be slightly different than some of the other workouts that we have done thus far. This one's going to be more of a group set. So we're going to do one eccentric and one isometric in each group and then we will move on to the next exercise the way this is will work is that we'll do the first eccentric exercise for 40 seconds and then we will do an isometric exercise immediately following that for the last 20 seconds of each minute so essentially we're going to be doing each group for a minute then we'll switch we'll do the opposite side and we'll run through the list most of these are going to be single leg or single movement parts. So we will work through those as we go through each of them. So that essentially this workout one set through is going to be about a 16 minute worth of work. And if you are to do multiple sets, which we can do around one to three sets of each of these exercises, that'll put us at around, you know, 30 to 45 minutes total. So let's go ahead and get into it. The exercise we're going to do something similar to what we did in the power group, which is going to be a hip thrust, but this time we're going to do it as a single leg exercise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have some sort of couch or a bench just like this. You're going to sink down here. I'm gonna start with my right leg. So we're gonna be working the right leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lift this one off the ground, kind of in like a 90-90 position here with my knee for the eccentric exercise. We are going to start here. We're going to lower down on a three count. So three, two, one, and then explode up. Okay, so this is gonna work our glute, all right? So once we get through this eccentric loading for our 40 seconds, we are going to use the last 20 seconds to just hold this position right here, okay? So that's gonna give us our full minute for this exercise. First one being eccentric, second exercise being isometric. So let's go ahead and get our timers set up here. So let's go ahead and get positions for our first 40 seconds of work. Okay, so bringing that leg up, right leg is down, left leg is up. That's three, two, one, and go. So 40 seconds here. So three, two, one, up. 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 Up, three, two, one, 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 up. Make sure you're using your core to help you stabilize here. Three, two, one, up. We got four seconds until we hold. Right, ready? And hold. So pull here, nice and strong through that glute. You're gonna be filling it in the quad as well. Keep the abs turned on to help you keep those hips stable. We don't wanna be rocking side to side here. All right, we got five more seconds left. All right, three, two, one, and done. Whew. So you're probably feeling a good burn there on your right leg. Let's go ahead and repeat that with our left leg. All right, let's go ahead, get that right leg up. All right, ready? And three, two, one, go. And up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up. Really think about exploding, so really pushing off and engaging that glute as you come up. That's gonna really help us even get some power work out of this. Helps to really keep the weight in the heel here. It's gonna have, also help us to get as much glute involvement as we possibly can. All right, we have five more seconds till we hold it. And hold, so 20 seconds here. Hold it here. Keep those hips nice and stable. Engage that glute. Ten more seconds, you're almost there. All right, keep that core turned on. Don't let your back sag. Three, two, one, and out. Whew. That's gonna really get a good burn on your quads and your glutes. Next exercise is going to be a lunge. So we will start with the eccentric version again, and then hop into the isometric. What we are going to do here 
you're going to have your feet just like this. Think about having some railroad tracks in between here. So we're going to have our legs uh, you know, spaced apart enough that we can get a good lunge. What this one's going to look like is you're going to lower down for three seconds and then again explode up for one second. So it's going to look like this. Three, two, one, explode. Three, two, one, explode. Three, two, one, explode, okay? And then the last thing we're going to do in the, for the isometric for those last 20 seconds is you're gonna hold this lunge position, okay? Let's go ahead, let's get started here. I'm gonna start with my right leg forward and um, then we'll move on to the next one, okay? All right, ready, set, and go. Two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. So squeeze that glute at the top. Help us. You're gonna feel actually a squeeze on both. Okay. Two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. But you're really powering up. Take that front leg. Okay. Up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. Almost there. Yeah, three seconds, three, two, one, and hold it down here. Probably gonna feel that burn more in that. Well, I'll actually feel it in both legs. All right, so this is gonna be a, these are all really good for preparing our quads here for those hills. All right, five seconds left. Three, two, one, done. All right, Whew. Really gets a good workout in those legs. We're gonna feel it on both ones, so. Um, might want to start with your strong leg first, just be, or your weak leg first, just because um, the second sign is going to maybe feel a little bit more challenging since we are working kind of both quads with those. Okay, so let's go ahead, switch to the other side here. All right, ready, set, and go. So three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. Yeah, make sure that you're engaging your back just so that 
for your, your glutes so you're not putting any strain on your back for this. Okay. Almost there. Five seconds till we do the ISO. And hold it here. 20 seconds here. Another good way that you can do an isometric hamstring is to just, if you've got a bench or something, you can just push your leg up into it. That's also good to work your hamstring. Uh, at least since we're using the band, it's easier. All right, three, two, one, and done. All right, that's a good one for helping us with our hamstring strength. So let's switch now to that left side. Get our clock ready. All right, and three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, and out. One, two, three, out. One, two, three, out. Thing we're going to do is going to 
to be similar exercise, actually the exact same exercise we did last week with the, the isometric or eccentric calf raise. And then we'll just stick into an isometric hold. We'll use the wall to help us to balance for this one. So we can always just do this in the regular way of just pushing all the, pushing up, slow down. Okay, so push up, one leg, down. One, and then three, two, one. The isometric again, we'll just be holding this position here. It's gonna work our foot, ankle, and calf strength, okay? All right, so ready? Let's start with our right leg, and then we'll do those exercises and switch to the left. All right, everybody ready? All right, ready, set, and go. So two feet up, one foot down. Up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, oops, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Up, two, one. Up. Two, one. Up. All right, and hold it. 20 seconds hold, 20 seconds hold. I messed up my timer, so I'm kind of guesstimating. I'm just gonna start to burn here. All right, you're almost there. All right, two, one, and out, good. And switching to the opposite leg here for our rest of this set, so let me start that. All right, ready, set, and go. So three, three, two, one, up, 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 three, two, one, up. because we're gonna need them for the hills and managing all of that stuff. Okay, so let's move on to our uh, sixth exercise, which is going to be a dead bug. What we're gonna do with this one is you're going to do one leg at a time and you're gonna extend your leg out in that dead bug position. We're gonna do, you're gonna go slow on the way out, extending it, and then you're gonna drive it back in. For the isometric hold, you're gonna hold your one leg out while the other leg stays up. All right, I'm gonna turn diagonal to you guys so you can see it okay so i can either hold my one both legs up and then extend slowly and back in three two one back in three two one back in or i can leave this leg down the entire time just to make sure that we're getting what we need out of the workout and not utilizing the wrong muscle groups so from here you go three two one back in three two one back in and you don't have to extend all the way straight work within your capacity we don't want to have any arching in the back so even if that means we keep the leg like this and we just go three two one up three two one up that's also going to give us the same workload okay now the isometric version of this you're going to do either leave your leg hovering here or have it all the way extended the extended version is going to be the hardest and you're going on, you can also have your leg up like this, okay? This is gonna help us to work that. If you wanna do both legs at the same time, you can also do a double leg and repeat the double leg as your isometric for your last 20 seconds on both of these two when we do each side, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started on it. So uh, go ahead and lay back here, pick, or we're gonna use our right side first, pick your level and go with it, okay? All right, ready, 
set, and go. So, leg, three, two, one, back in, three, two, one, back in, three, two, one, back in, three, two, one. And when you draw that leg in, try to think about turning on your abdomen and using your core muscles to help you drive that leg back up instead of relying solely on the hip flexor, which is what so many runners tend to do, as it's tight hip flexors, they're too reliant. All right, ready hand, hold that isometric, okay? And you can crunch up a little bit, that's gonna give us a little additional work here. If that's too much, put that head back down. So seven, six, five, five seconds left. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Almost there. Done. All right. Whew. All right. So that worked. Our right side. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly move on to this next set. Okay. Or this next, the other side. All right. Now lay back. Take a little breather if you need it, and then lift and get in position for the other side. All right. Now let's go ahead and ready. Set, go. All right, three, two, one, up. 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 Three, two, one. Now this side may feel more challenging because we already did the other side and we're working some more muscles. All right, hold it out there. Or you may have different strengths on either side. I'm definitely feeling this. 10 seconds left. Breathe through it. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Three, two, one, and out. One really fires up your core. All right, next one we're gonna do is going to be a hip abduction. So we're gonna need a, another one of these little bands here that we used for the hamstring curls. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this around my ankles. Here, we can do a couple of different things, like I said. So you can do the hip abduction where you go one, two, three, back in, one, two, three. This is directly out to my side in a lateral position, or we can do this um, from a 90 degree angle. It's gonna work a little bit more in that glute need, or we can do it straight back, okay? So it depends on what we're working, what we wanna work. Uh, you can always mix it up, you can always play with it. This is also another one that you could do it like this, where you go three, two, one out, three, two, one diagonal, three, two, one back, okay? All right, ready? Let's uh, put the weight in the left leg. We're gonna work that right leg first. Ready, set, and go. Two, one, in, three, 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 two, one, in. And try to keep your upper body as still as you possibly can while you're doing this so you're not leaning like that with it. You really want to be isolating in the hip and help us get the maximum benefit out of this. All right, and hold it out there for 20 seconds. It's gonna burn. Just aware of it. Not to let your back turn on. Use that hip. Stabilizing that standing leg. Press that. Press against that band. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Four seconds left. Switch to the opposite leg. Get ready. All right. One, two, three, and go. So three, two, one, in. Three, two, one, in. Three, two, one, in. This one really does work the balance a good bit. So you get to practice that. It's gonna help us with our. Mobility. I like 
to do a lot of the workouts uh, barefoot for that reason. It really helps us to get a little bit more strength in there um, subconsciously. Three, two, one, in, and hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. You're going to feel this on your standing leg and that's why this one can be challenging on the second side already really fatigued the leg that now has to help stabilize you. So you're going to feel that on that side as well. You're probably getting a little bit of that shaking, which is going to make that balance even more difficult. But you're almost out. And done. Whew. All right. So that was exercise number seven. We have reached our eighth and final exercise. So get yourself ready for this one. Uh, we're going to move down to the ground. This is one that you can also do with a band to add a level of difficulty. I'm gonna have my legs situated kind of like in a staggered state. So one leg is back here, um, and then the other one is forward in front of me, just like this. And I'm going to sit up here, pressing against that band, okay? So I'm pressing against that band and pushing my hips forward. It's gonna help me to strengthen there. In order to do this with the eccentric loading, we're going to go slowly on the way down. So three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. And then for our isometric hold version, we are going to be holding it in that halfway down position, okay? Let's go ahead and get in position here. So I'm gonna start again with my right leg forward, left leg back here and we're just gonna move through this exercise just like I just showed you without the band, okay? So let's go ahead, ready, set, and up. And then three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. And really press those hips forward when you come up. Two, one, up. Three, Two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. This is gonna help us to also stretch out that adductor a little bit. All right, almost to the breakdown. Okay, ready? And hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. Halfway down, okay? Not all the way down, not all the way up. We're just holding it here, okay? exercise set so feel free to do two more sets or just stop there with those exercises that we just did it really depends on where you are how much you have time for and what you're in need of so if you have any questions on any of these exercises feel free to reach out to me comment on this post and I'll take care of you all right thanks guys enjoy the rest of your week bye everyone